The following program is being brought to you by Loving's Moon, Tim and Jerry's Auto Sales, Garden Bowl, American Gratitude, Patrick Dugan's Coffee House, and Triple A Loans and U-Haul. Two guys who had no business being in radio decided to start their own podcast, and now they just won't shut up. Hey! A Power Surge Media Production. Here they are, JB Surge and Snipes Uncaged. That's right. It is Uncaged episode number thirty-one, I believe. I'm not. Sh- I'm not sure anymore. It's it's uh, uh, thirty-one. I was one- oh, I, there I am. Yeah, there okay. you go. Thirty-one. I remember thirty-one. I don't. Do you remember thirty-one? No. You don't remember thirty-one? No. <laughs> don't remember thirty-one. I wonder if alcohol was involved. More than likely. Yeah. Alcohol was involved at 31? Well, alcohol was involved from 21 to... Now? Yeah. Yeah. However, I spent my 21st till 28th birthday out on the missile field in Wyoming working for the Air Force, so I didn't drink that whole time I was in the Air Force. Do you believe that? No. I did that. (laughs) I did, because I saw guys getting drunk and getting kicked out of the Air Force for it. Oh, is that right? Yeah. yeah. That wouldn't be good. So I, I well, decided to refrain. But now the weekend after I got back, I don't remember. <laughs> well, I was going to took me out. Well, I was going to say, did you? Uh, you mentioned about your buddies and uh, I forget what what you guys were in. I don't know, college dorm room or base or whatever. You mentioned about that guy with the green bottle of Jack that uh, dropped it down the fire escape. Yeah, we all cried at that. I wasn't drinking it, but. But be, obviously, since it smashed onto the concrete, so smashed, yeah, he had Much, a whole gallon of Jack, and he got up to the very top floor and dropped it, and we were outside. And was, oh yeah, I remember that story. Yeah, yeah. so bad party foul. Yeah, because <laughs> we were just terrible. We were poor military guys. We couldn't make that kind of money. That guy missed his car payment for that one. Really. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> for nothing. For nothing. For nothing. So, well, yeah, yeah, I refrained because I, I even saw my commander end up the next day after he got, you know, uh, drunk at the officer's club. His bags were packed out in front of the uh, headquarters. Oh, the, no. Yeah, the colonel decided, nope, you're out. Done, see ya. Yeah. Gosh, that sucks. So, yeah, I refrained. However, that weekend I got back, my dad said, uh, you don't have any ties to the military anymore, do you? I said, well, I've got two years of reserve, but they're not going to call me up. And so <laughs> that whole weekend, we... Uh, you don't remember? No. Hammered. Right. He says, we're going to the golf course. And that's, I remember the drive out to the golf course because we used to golf together, Dad and I, all the time. And we went out to the golf course, and I don't remember much of leaving that golf course. Um, yeah. That must have been fun then. It was a wild time. Kind of like the kind of like the one you left in Tucson. Oh. You didn't quite remember that one either. Driving around million dollar homes in a golf cart, drunk off our ass because we with the sprinklers find, on because we couldn't find the exit. <laughs> Where is the clubhouse? Where was I? That sounds like so much fun. Oh, see, you were stuck here. Yes, I was. <laughs> hmm. Go figure. Oh yeah, go figure. So um, I haven't stopped drinking since I got back. No, you have not. No. <laughs> well, and you, you had mentioned that ever since you got back from Tucson, it's been kind of nonstop for you with uh, mom going to the hospital. No, I was actually and then, on the way back from San Antonio. Oh, that's right. No, I went no to that's a right. Funeral. Remember, we went. That was back, after I went to that funeral, and then uh, got back, and it's been nonstop. That was around episode number twenty-eight. Those of you that have not listened to that one, you should definitely go listen to that one. That was a really good one. We talked about the National, National Cemeteries and the United States Air Force. So. Yeah, very cool. But yeah, um, well, that too. I mean, it didn't really, you go from Tucson to San Antonio to, I mean, it's in a short amount of time. So, yeah, I've been traveling the countryside, all over. Yeah, I just book a condo wherever I want to go, and then I go. Lego. Well, speaking of which, uh, that's what we're going to be doing in late June. 
is uh, what we're going we got to. I guess like the whole extended family is now coming. Yeah, pretty much. I've you, got my buddies you, from the uh, from the Police academy. academy. I haven't seen in seventeen years. They're going to show up. One of them is going to bring his son-in-law, and I'm like, God, "You're old enough to have a son-in-law." <laughs> And I'm like, what? Your 14 year old daughter got married? What? <laughs> 14 year old daughter. Got married. And, and, and then now, uh, now my uh, son in law and granddaughter. And That's right. So, um, but we intend to pregame the night before. Duh. That's what Friday nights in, that's what Friday nights in Afton, Oklahoma are for. Well, yeah. Because there's nothing really to do in Afton, Oklahoma. Exactly. There's a convenience store <laughs> right by a runway. Right by, yeah, right, really. Right by a runway, short runway, and an Indian casino, and and uh, there's the, a lake there. There's a lake there, the Grand Lake. So, or yeah, yeah. Uh, but then the we go up to Shangri-La. the hillside and and why and dot. Uh, yeah. yeah, and if we're not too hungover, we'll actually shoot something. If not, yeah. I'll just be sitting in a lawn chair going. When's this hangover uh, getting over? What with? are we doing here? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 I think the last time that we were all in Oklahoma, it, uh, we, we had way too much the night before, and no, yeah, not yeah, us. Yeah, no, never. Yeah. At least, I, at least I was. I mean, I started never. drinking at like three in the uh, three in the afternoon. We didn't get done till close to midnight. So, um, all yeah. I remember is that gallon bottle of Fireball still had ice attached to it when we emptied. That's it. right. Cause, well, we put it in oh, the uh, we put it in the ice chest. And of course, it was surrounded by ice, and yeah, it just got stuck to it practically. Right. And uh, there, well, it was half full. The the the, 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 the gallon bottle of fire, fireballs half full. I'm pretty sure I drank half of that half. So uh, probably. It, it was. I, think I know I, some guys left after we got done drinking. Uh, you didn't, but some of the guys left and went to the casino after that. And I was like, that's I'm right. Not getting out there. And yeah, driving. the casino right uh, near the resort. So yeah, it's because there isn't a straight road from that resort. To the casino. No, no. I'm surprised they even made it out. Yeah. <laughs> Stumbled yeah. into the casino. And, and, and they used to come from Atlanta to do this thing. That's right. So they would bring their guns and they, they were one of the exhibitors in the uh, yeah. in the in the shoot. So yeah, full on a shoot. Which by the way, uh, Ron Cut episode number twelve will be done from Oklahoma, by Are the way. Are we really doing it yeah. from there? So there you go. You're hauling all this equipment there. I guess. Okay. So it'll be fun. Pretty sure. Well, Depends I guess on if, I can't take my underwear there. Depends. I was, I was gonna, gonna say. Dep- all depends on if we actually have the room. I guess so. Because we, we are taking it. three other people with us. So, or yeah, two. Well, two well, other people. But yeah, it's gonna be us three, four, five in a truck, and oh, God. and there's gonna be luggage. I, uh, so I we may not have the there's room. There's gonna be bitching from the back seat. I know there is. Of course there is. Can you turn up the air conditioner? Can you turn it down? Can you? Oh, I, I I'm know cold. I'm hot. Pass me the snacks. Pass me the beer. I gotta pee. You know, it's just it's, it's just gonna be nonstop. You know, just from the back seat. So yeah, the last time I took a road trip uh, like that, all I remember is is uh, popping up the fireball at seven forty five a.m. because we were hitting the road. That's right. And oh all I remember is mom saying, "It's not, not even, even eight a.m." <laughs> so. So we're going to the Royals game. That's right. We got a drink. That was supposed to be my Royals game, by the way. Yeah, what Dick were you heads. doing? Uh, yeah, I was. Well, I was serving the uh, the highest powers of the um, radio station I was working for. Oh, yeah. And so, I, I, assuming that I was going to go somewhere with serving the high powers of the radio station, yeah, that didn't happen. I got kicked around and shoved around like well, the little shit that I am, and. <laughs> So you have never been little. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no, you were. Oh, it's okay. I'll work 80, 90, 100 hours a week. It's okay. It's all going to be worth it. No, you're still a piece of shit, JB. So, yeah. Sorry, that's leftover salt I have for. Wow. I, that's leftover yeah. salt. But no, you, no, you better now? No. <laughs> I, I still have much venom for those people. I'm yeah. not going to mention, mention the name because they don't deserve being named. So, mm. there you go. Anyway. Anyway, episode speaking number of, thirty-one. Speaking of Royals, they're on an eleven-game losing streak right now. <laughs> did you like my yes, comment? That, did you like my? Did you like my comment in the group chat? The Royal losers. Yeah, there's eleven L's in Royals now. So yeah, yeah, it's and that their record for losing in a streak is nineteen. See, I didn't know we. I didn't know it hasn't even been broken yet. I'm pretty sure I thought this was it, but no, nineteen in a row. Nineteen in a row. I think they can make that. <laughs> it's going to happen. 
it's it's going to happen. The, the problem I have is Matheny has no clue, no clue to change anything up. He has not changed to, the lineup. No, you need to bring has not Is, changed. Oh. Isbell back up. Where's Kyle Isbell? Yeah. yeah, bring the young guys back. Bring Whit back up. Uh, you know, and uh, let let those guys. Well, Mondesi will eventually come back. He's still right. on rehab, but it's still. Yeah, he's probably drinking so he can stay in rehab. Probably. <laughs> His the rehab assignment, he didn't actually yeah. do go f- to actual rehab for drugs or alcohol. He's he's working his way back from an injury, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he probably, <laughs> he probably sp- is. Speaking of Royals and, and other sporting events we go to, we talk about tailgating. And, uh, sure, yeah. Well, we'll, I, we'll get to that. Trust me. No, uh, no I, know, I want to get to this the tailgating part about the guy with – oh, no, we did talk about the guy with the ascot. We'll, we'll get, we'll get oh. to that. Well, I'm try, trust me. We're, that's part of the episode. I, I guarantee it. We're going to get to oh, that okay. eventually. But uh, there was something I wanted to address before the episode. Um, well, a couple things. Uh, first of all, if you are a, if you have a business or uh, want to become a sports sponsor of Uncaged, please give us a. I'd say give us a call. I mean, the numbers on our fa- go to our Facebook page. You can go uh, catch our fa- uh, phone number, or you can even message us right on our Facebook page, and you can become a sports sponsor of the show, uh, or just become a sponsor. The second thing is is that. Um, we have all of our sponsors are support sponsors, meaning we don't get any money from them. So if you still if you want to become a, sport, a support sponsor, just get your name on the podcast. That's cool. But if you also want to actually pay in to become a sponsor, that's uh, hey, that's cool too. But also another way you can support the show is if you want to donate to us, you can donate to uh, our my, well my personal uh, virtual. Venmo? I don't know, banks, yeah, Venmo or Cash App. If you do have that, just go to at JB Surge, and you can uh, donate to the cause. And because uh, every penny does help, and we we do all of this, all it's all of our own equipment. Nothing's financed or anything. Thankfully, I mean, we everything we everything we have is owned. So, if you want to support the show, support what we do for Power Surge Media, you can do that. Venmo or Cash App at JB Surge, uh, and donate that way. I don't have a formal Patreon or there's no live stream you can donate with it so it's uh, I don't feel like getting into that anyway so uh, but and with, with Patreon I guess I mean there had to be like some kind of thing to do for the patrons I'm not sure what we would do buy them a drink I mean if you <laughs> we, we were do we become patrons yeah if you ever wanted to become a patron but uh, that's why but yeah <laughs> there's drinks involved okay wow I'll, I'll, I'll donate my you know, uh, so that's basically how you can donate. If I do be, do somehow work myself into a Patreon, then I'll, I'll let you know about that. Otherwise, that's basically how you can support the show. You can either have your have you or your business become a sponsor of the show, or you can uh, donate to the cause with uh, hmm. Venmo or okay. Cash App. So, all right. And uh, finally, I wanted to get to this because this happened here in Garden City, and it oh. is something that. I'm, this is something that I wanted to kind of proclaim right now here. So, Uh-oh. did um, so apparently this this woman went with her kids to Walmart one day here in Garden City, and said that they were followed around by a couple of strange men uh, trying to get their kids to. I was just looking for the diapers. Shut the hell up! All right, because if you're the guy who's walking around strangely trying to look at women and their children, I will pop a cap. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, uh, so she was out shopping at Walmart with her kids. Uh, they saw this man kind of tailing them loosely and um, throughout the whole store, just kind of just looking around and looking at them. And uh, it's, 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 pretty, it's pretty scary. But uh, eventually, once they got to the checkout line, of course, the guy popped up again. And thankfully, her husband came back, came back around and scared him off. So, and here's the... Uh, yeah, he wants another one. There you go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> He's been waving his glass for the past five minutes. It's annoying me. But anyways, Alcohol, please. So anyways, it, it's pretty crazy how something like this can happen right here in Garden City. I mean, okay. we, we think we think of our uh, community not as somebody who was well, like these crazy, creepy people just walking around. So Like L.A. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Well, L.A.'s full of them. So. But nonetheless... Um, I kind of want to make a proclamation here into the, or kind of a, uh, how would I say, kind of a movement, I guess. 
So if you, uh, if you happen to share this podcast on any of our social media, I want you to use it with the hashtag always carry. Okay. And so because if this can happen in Garden City, it can happen anywhere. I don't want anybody caught without something to defend themselves. And if you are a proponent of the Second Amendment, you do have or, or don't have a con- uh, concealed carry license. It doesn't matter in the state of Kansas. There is constitutional carry. Please, always carry. I don't care what the business says. I don't care where you're at. It can happen anywhere, at any time, to anyone. Always carry. Always. That's how, you, that's how you're able to fend off some of these crazy, kooky, creepy people. Okay. So, so in the story. Do what? Oh, so what did the story? Nothing? Oh, I thought you had the story. You already developed it? That's, that's oh, the story. Okay. That's the story. This woman got... We was, had a stalker. And the husband popped up and... Scared him away. Okay, good. Yeah, and I don't so, think that's the first one in Garden City. That's not the first time it's happened here in Garden City. There's plenty of times it's also happened in Dodge City. It's happened in Liberal. It's, it's happened all around southwest Kansas in these uh, quote-unquote quiet, quaint communities. You can, you can go anywhere. They're always somewhere, whether it's, whether it's stalkers or people who, want to, who are trying to get trafficking children. You know, it's happened, it happens, it's happened here before. So, small towns, hashtag. Yeah, small towns, I think they're yeah, easy targets. Yeah, easy targets. So, hashtag always carry. And that's how, that's my movement for the week. Go for it. Share this podcast, hashtag always carry, wherever you put up your yeah, uh, our, social our, media our law enforcement officers and friends that uh, listen to this they they understand it because they they see it every day and they see it every day well, especially in kansas city area you know it's it's the metropolitans of course this happens a lot more than you think but the fact that it's happening in smaller towns it's stupid it's really stupid so okay there you go that's my PSA. That's my PSA for the week. By the way, speaking of PSAs, uh, we're going to have kind of a PSA type episode next week. Tessa Jane, who was on our, ep- our on our podcast on episode number fifteen, the artist that created our logo, uh, she has kind of a uh, kind of an interesting story to tell coming up next week uh, in her uh, battles with some postpartum complications. So um, you'll definitely want to hear that story and, and, and this hear the was stuff right after her child. This was after the birth of her second child. Literally hours after it happened, she went through some stuff, and I'll let her tell the story, of course, and uh, kind of a PSA to those expectant mothers. Like it, it can happen. It's a, it was a rare case, but it can happen to anybody. Um, I don't think so, it's as rare as anybody thinks. I, th- I think there's uh, a, f- a form of depression that happens afterwards. Well, it wasn't really depression. It's, oh. no, it, no, that's a, postpartum depression. Yes, it can it can happen. Happens to almost anybody. But what she specifically went through was incredibly rare, and it, she battled with it for almost a month after her child was born. She didn't see her child for more than two, three weeks after mm-hmm. she was born because she was fighting uh, practically for her life. So Okay. Well, we'll get to that next week. That's what's coming up next week. So anyways, by the way, finally getting into what we're going to be talking about here. Um, yeah, cookouts, tailgating. You know, it's it. Summer's coming up. The weather is getting warmer. Uh, of course, we're going to be having a cookout for Ron and Cut episode number eleven. Uh, we're going to be doing that for our doing that uh, for uh, your birthday, my birthday. Yeah, the big two nine again. Two nine again. Oh no, no. this is the first no. one. <laughs> right, first and first and only. First and only one. So we're going to do Ron and Cut from the patio. From the patio. Yeah, so that'll be happening Friday night. So those uh, getting the podcast uh, on the recording, you'll be getting it Saturday morning instead of uh, fri- uh, Friday morning. The um, 29th, you'll receive it. Correct. Yeah, it'll be live on Facebook. Yeah, we'll have we'll be live on Facebook. We'll have some fun. We'll have some fun. Of course, uh, it's a private event. Only those invited will get uh, will get into the party. But you can always view it live on Facebook. Am I as well. invited? Well, yeah. Okay. I mean, because because I'm the one that has to set. Because you're pretty much the host, the event. Okay. Uh, those actually hosting the event. So. Is that jerk Joey going to be there? Yes, he, he is. He may. He may. He may. He may. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we may kick him out before he or just as he arrives. No, no, get the, get the fuck out. Girl is still deciding. She's still deciding. Well, come on. What are you? What are you doing? You know. Yeah. It's. She doesn't like you. Don't, you, have, you don't have anything going Friday nights, do you? No. Or at least that particular Friday night. I 
have no life, so no. <laughs> You so, have yeah. a life. It's just a boring one. Yes, very much so. <laughs> but you are going to a concert tomorrow. Yes. That's right. So, She's going to Lee Bryce in Dodge City. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Me and one so. of my besties. Sounds like fun. Lee's your bestie? No, I said one of my besties. I wish he was my bestie. Oh. Everyone wishes Lee Bryce was their bestie. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I got a trivia question for you on Lee Bryce. Oh, oh let's go. All right. Not good. He wrote a song. Well, I don't know if he wrote it or not. <laughs> but he sings a song. It's the only song I really like. Well, there's actually two, but the only one I really like. And he talks about driving around in a truck, burning up the fields. What's the name of that? He song? already gave away the title. Yeah. Uh, the t- he already gave the, away the title of the song. Driving around in a truck, huh? You don't. Yeah, evidently, I'm Kip Moore also he, sings he t- one. It, basically, it's so. a song about him. Uh, and his, with, with his son, his son, right. uh, son's truck, his son's truck that he drives around in a field. I know what you're talking about, but I can't think of it. It's called "I Drive Your Truck." Yeah, yeah, yeah. and 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 it, oh, it's yeah, hard. Well, isn't he um, military? His son, yeah, military. You're right, right, yeah. yeah. And so yeah. he's driving his truck so that, right. And and to me, that's one of the. Uh, uh, I've dealt with a lot of veterans yeah. who have lost. Uh, their battle, uh, not only the actual battle on the field, but the battle within actual, themselves. Yeah, mm-hmm. the PS, PTSD, the PTSD. And, and things like that. But uh, so that one, I, I really enjoy that one. Yeah, because if you really think about it, that that could be any uh, father's nightmare. Uh, but if you you can reverse it, and actually any son's nightmare when he loses his father, because that could be a son talking about driving his dad's truck. Yes. So, yeah. It's also true. Yeah. So, anyway, I thought I'd throw that little Lee Bryce thing out. Somber. If- wow. Jesus. Okay. Anyways, yeah. we're getting well, You the- started somber. I did not start somber. I started off with a little. <laughs> I started with PSA. So. Yeah. And then he decided to, to be like, oh, son's PTSD. dying is sad, you know. Uh, okay. Yeah. Anyways. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. So, we're talking Cook- about cookouts. Cookouts and tailgates and fun. Well, of course, tailgating is very popular. Uh, I guess in the just in the area, I'm like, well, it's popular everywhere, and that's but an mainly event. Kansas City area, right? That's an event in above itself. The event, yeah, it's it, it's an event in itself. If you ever get a chance to go to a Chiefs game, go to tailgate. It, uh, it is well. Lee awesome. Bryce has a song about that. Parking lot party, parking yeah, lot party. That's right. So, yeah, tailgating. Yeah, it's all about tailgating and having a good time and drinking too much and all that good stuff, um, which is what you do at a. At a cheese tailgate, but tailgating anywhere. Uh, you, you were going to mention about the the guy with the ascot. The, the, oh. the, probably probably the probably the best tailgating story I've ever heard. So um, it's a cooler morning. About eight a.m. is when they open up the parking lots around Arrowhead. And here we are. We're with our bottles of liquor and beat up truck, and we have a cool. Uh, we have a grill that has a broken leg on it, so it's actually propped up. On the tailgate of the truck so we could cook on it. Well, that's still an angle. It was still on an angle, so we had to put a little plastic little thing so the hot dogs wouldn't roll off as they were cooking. So here we are, rednecking it really good. This limo pulls up in the parking lot, a couple spaces from us. Out gets the driver. Driver. Yeah, the driver. Of not, the not, not, the, not, the, not the person actually t- actually going to the game, right. the driver. And... Uh, he walks around and he uh, opens up the door for the owner, I guess, of the car. Yeah, well, the, yeah. He gets out and he's got his jersey. His Might as well jersey. be a butler. Yeah, he's it's pressed. I mean, pressed. Jeez, Nobody Jesus. presses a jersey, and he's got a white ascot. <laughs> Disgusting. Yeah, underneath this jersey. What? Yeah, yeah. exactly. And then his. Uh, wife with a rock that she couldn't hold up because it was so heavy on her hand. She gets out the other side. And, uh, so the, then the uh, driver pulls out a table out of the trunk of the limo and puts a tablecloth, white tablecloth, candelabra. Oh Good. And off to the side, he's now got this enormous grilling thing and he's cooking breakfast for them and they're drinking champagne. On this table. Uh, 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 okay, first of all, I mean, I wouldn't understand if it was mimosas, but like it was just straight, straight champagne. champagne. Right. 
Don't need no OJ. What, what the fuck? Yeah. And so, first of all, you lost your man card. This isn't the way Already. you tailgate. Yeah. Already. Sorry. And, uh, but they were so cooking breakfast. Was it like tra- eggs and sausage yeah, and stuff like that? you know, that? it was just a normal. Jesus yeah. Christ. And so they eat their little breakfast, and they, ha, 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 and they tip their little. And the guy just stands there, the, guy, the driver or the cook or whatever you call him. He's just standing there to the side just. And we're like. Serving try, them. Yeah, we're trying to get him over to like, hey, you want a shot? <laughs> you know, Grey Goose, something, you know. And he's just like shaking his head, no, no, no. And, and we left by that time because we were going in. But, yeah, they were just the. That is not how you tailgate people. Nope. That was disgusting. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the prim and proper, and the, a limo with a driver, right? And your butler's, but apparently also your and cooking you're wearing butler. A Chiefs jersey pressed, pressed with an ascot. That is not no. That is not. You don't tailgate. go to you don't go to a Chiefs game dressed like that, no. acting that way. I've gone to Chiefs game and forgot to wear pants. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's true, ladies and gentlemen. Um, no, yeah, what about I, me in the picture of Lamar? We need to put that up on your... Oh, I've still gosh. got a picture of me with Lamar. Lamar was a 32-ounce beer bong. 32 ounce. Oh, wow. And this uh, couple of college kids were right next to us. And yep. uh, they were drinking Bud Light or something like that. And I'm like, well, I'll do the bong, but I'm not going to drink that. Crap. Ass. So I had Fisher's beer, didn't we? Fisher's. Uh, Fisher's beer. Which is like, oh, I don't know, you know, 12 to 15 times stronger than your typical light beer. Right. And so I said, pour about three of those in there and we'll see how that goes. And look, 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 look. yeah, and I was like, that was all? That was it? And they're like, dude, this yeah. guy's legendary. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like 20 years older, they're all 30 college years kids, older yeah. than you guys. And I've drank a lot of beer in my time, so a lot of college kids, man. Tell you what, yeah. So I've got that picture of I, I, I believe we'll pop it up there sometime. Yeah, we'll, I've got we'll, a picture of uh, Lamar on my phone. So there you go, Lamar, the beer bong. Yeah. It happened during a preseason game of all. Oh, well, I mean of all games, it was during a preseason game that it was a football game. Yeah, it was a football game. But hey, it doesn't matter if it's uh, if it doesn't matter if it's regular season preseason. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, there you go. Uh, pr- regular season, preseason. Well, the funny thing is that they were all doing them on their knees, and you're like, I ain't getting on my fucking knees. And so they literally because lifted the beer bong up above him so that we can. <laughs> yeah. I don't bow to any beer. Beer bows to me. That's right. So, well, speaking of college students and tailgating, I actually have seen this. I actually got this article. There's a top ten list of of tailgate or cookout dishes or tailgate dishes by Picked out by college students. So we'll see how much college students know about tailgating and what kind of Speaking of college students, one of my questions on Riding the Pine earlier this evening was, is the KU campus wet or dry? It's a dry campus. It is a dry campus. That's right. Now, Mass Street right next to it is not. Nope. (laughs) Nope. (laughs) It's almost as if if it was like if it was like K State and it was Aggieville. You know, it's if K State was a dry campus. And and Joey made the point that the Lawrence Police Department's Twitter account is the best. Oh, it's oh, it's hundred percent hilarious. Best. Yeah, no, Lord, yeah. If you ever get a chance, go follow the Lawrence Police Department on Twitter. By the way, while you're at it, you can also follow me on Twitter at JB Search. Shameless plug. Anyway, um, yeah, I found this top ten list of of best. I guess what what is it? Best tailgating foods ranked by college students. So let's see if oh. college students know what they want. Number ten was chili. So kind I of like a, that. kind I of like a that. kind of a cold weather type, you know, like yeah. late late in this late in the football, college football season, maybe you want to have a good bowl of chili. So that, that's uh, that's pretty pretty interesting. Number nine was uh, ribs, of course. of course, but I'm surprised that it's ranked as low as it was because ribs are, I think, are probably the top uh, type of tailgating food okay. besides maybe burgers or dogs. Uh, number eight was hot dogs, of course. Yeah. Number seven, beer. Yeah, we we don't we don't have any food. We just Pack our ice chest full of beer and we just liquid drink liquid bread. Yeah, liquid bread. So, number six, by the way, mac and cheese. See, Interesting. Fun. Yeah, See? mac and cheese tailgating. I'm not. I'm not sure if a ever... girl came up with mac and cheese when she walked in. I was like, that is not a tailgating thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't. I don't. I, I've never seen mac and cheese as a side dish when you're tailgating. No, no. That had to be college kids that are trying to relive their childhood. Childhood, I guess. Yes. Yeah. But mac and cheese is just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not crushing on mac and cheese at all because it is amazing, but I wouldn't necessarily think of it as a tailgate type dish. Uh, Buffalo wings at number six, uh, number six. 
Okay. That's the, yeah, I don't even have that on. Sure. Me. I mean, it's, it's yeah. a pretty good. Yeah, by the way, we'll, we do have a top 10 list of our best cookout uh, dishes coming up, by the way. Uh, number four was nachos. Nacos? Okay. 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 Uh, burgers at number three, which, you know, very customary. Number two, mozzarella sticks. Oh, now, who's oh, wow. cooking mozzarella sticks? Who the fuck is brain. doing mozzarella sticks? Who who's fuck? deep fat frying mozzarella sticks? I was like, who the fuck is doing mozzarella sticks? The guy, with the, for the, guy yeah. with the ascot. The guy with the ascot's got it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the guy with the ascot. Yeah, no shit. Uh, but yeah, mm-hmm. now, mozzarella, I don't get that. Oh. Not sure about that. And that's number two. That's number two. Number two. one, of course, chips and dip. I mean, yep. that'll that win one. every time. Yeah. That'll win every time because you need to have a good chip. You need to have a good dip for. Well, you uh, gotta have chips or for anything. A big old bucket of Utes balls, cheese balls. Yeah, you gotta have cheese balls because you can yeah, always. Okay. You, not only can you eat them, but you can throw them at other people. Oh yeah. <laughs> see. Nerf gun. Right, because you're always going to see. The, you can always see the opponents. Fans and you got to throw stuff at them. Of course. In fact, one one of the, my best photographs out there is some. There's a Raiders fan somewhere in Oakland somewhere that came to a Raiders Raiders Chiefs game, and I'm sitting there with a big old bucket of cheese balls, <laughs> and he goes, "Oh, I got to get a picture of this," and he did. So somewhere, this guy's got a picture of saying. These two drunk cheese fans had a big old bucket of cheese. That was the only food we Appa- had. At the apparently, I was going to say. Oh, wow. Apparently, he's never seen a bucket of cheese balls before. Well, and it was me and uh, Jeremy. Oh, we Jeremy were, Lopez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he had to. So, so there you go. That's that's yeah. that's that's pretty interesting. Yeah, cheese balls. <laughs> cheese hey, balls. hey, that's a, that's a good tailgating dish right there, or just chips in general. You know, it's I think it's I think that's probably a good. Good idea there. So chips and dips okay. is good for everything. Yeah, I, well, for yeah for anything. Depending on the dip, I am well, not true. a ranch person. <gasps> no, you are ranch a is a style of a house. It is not a dip. Ranch Ooh. house. That's right. <laughs> that's exactly right. Oh, no, yeah. ranch is good for. Well, no, that's the thing. Is it, it's a very unpopular opinion that I think ran, all all kinds of ranch. I don't care what kind of ranch it is. All ranch tastes like shit. I, there I, you I go. Cannot stand ranch. That's right. Not the southwestern ranch. Well, and I don't. I don't get why people put ranch on fucking everything. Right. Pizza. Because it's good. Uh, I've seen. I've I seen. Put ranch yeah. on everything. It's <laughs> like it comes out of your nose. It's wrong. Yeah. I don't get why ranch gets. Oh Jesus. Yeah. Anyway, I don't get blue yeah. cheese. That is disgusting. Yeah, blue cheese is disgusting. Yeah. Everything's disgusting. Yeah. Now there was the uh, there was the uh, tailgate what we had with uh, Gus and Gus's dad. It was uh, just fireball and cigars, wasn't it? Yeah, that we was had our tailgate. Yeah, we <laughs> fireball we and cigars. And then, well, that's where I came up with fireball Mountain Dew. That's where everyone was that's like, right. "Who the hell?" Like every time I ordered at a bar, they're like, "What the hell is fireball well, Mountain Dew?" We came Dew? up with that because that was the only mixer we had. That's pretty. Well, I we had Pepsi and Mountain Dew, and then we had a bunch of fireball. And we're just like, "Well, at first I was just going to do Pepsi." Was but Gus, then, Gus cooking something that night? Too? No, no. Uh, you know, we I think we were just drinking and stuff. And then uh, yeah, and, and so I just decided to do with Mountain Dew, and I thought it was the I thought it's like I found my new drink. To get, you know, and, and that game prompted Gus to get season tickets. That's right. Yeah, so that's why he has Chiefs season tickets. Being a Green Bay fan, he's got Chiefs season tickets because of that. That's true. Yeah, that was a good game. Good national anthem too. What you remember the national anthem? Remember it was that. Uh, is that Sergeant from Whiteman Air Force Base who sang it? Okay. No, I don't remember that. Oh. I was drinking that day. Wow, you're an ass. Anyways. <laughs> I, I, did, I, did I, I stand I, and I, salute? I can guarantee that Gus and both Gene... Well, you said Gus and Gene both wiped, wiped their eyes after that because it was like yeah, well, emotional sure and heartfelt. Right. Like, like he did a really fucking good job. So. Right. But, I'm sure uh, he did, but I don't remember it. Yeah, of course you don't. You don't remember... You can go to a cheese game and you just don't remember it. Well, like the Chargers game that you went to on uh, that um, Thursday night game that you went to, where you game. just got well, we hammered. We started drinking on the way there. Of course. And it was a six-hour drive. No, we left Hutchison because we stayed the night in Hutch. That's right. So we drank on the way. That was where I was Look at passing a highway patrolman near the Kansas City area, like Olathe, and I was tipping back a bottle of Fireball. Nice. Oh, no. And I was wearing a Chiefs jersey. You know, I'm just driving. Because Michelle was in the back seat, and she was like, you want another? And I'm like, yeah. 
And so I, she handed me one of those little bottles, and I'm just tipping it back. And about the time that he drove up and he saw me, and it, all he did was give me the arrowhead sign. Like, uh, oh, my God. And just kept going. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> baby. <laughs> he knew. He, he knew. knew. Yeah, he just knew. <laughs> that and the look at the little piggies. Oh. <laughs> we, we, mom got too lit too early. And yeah, she did. Yeah, so lunch, she didn't make it to the game. Yeah, lunchtime at uh, what was it? Twin Peaks or something like that? No, it was a bar next to Twin Peaks or uh, a restaurant. It was more of a ritzy re- barbecue restaurant. Oh, geez. and they had statues of piggies, little piggies. Oh and wow! She, she was crying about the little piggies. Little piggies. And I'm like, yeah, they're good. They're tasty. They taste. <laughs> <laughs> they taste delicious. Yeah. Roast them over a fire. Yeah, rotisserie so. style bitches. Yeah, no, it. Uh, yeah, that, that you couldn't find your way out of the stadium, and you got like an Uber somewhere, something like well, that. No, no, no. Uh, backyard Brian. Oh, geez. And his brother ended up showing up at our tailgate. Oh, gee, yeah. And I was drinking something, 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 something. I don't know. <laughs> Travis was pouring it. It was like diet mountain, uh, diet root beer, and something else. He was throwing in there. Gross. And all I remember is is they were selling because it was a cooler evening. They were selling uh, they fireball sold hot this, chocolates, fireball and hot chocolate together. Uh, Ooh, amazing! That really good. By the it way, is. if you ever get the chance, do it. Amazing! It amazing. Is amazing! And <sighs> and we don't frown on that at work for me though. Uh, well, you, you don't put it in a cup that they can see. Yeah, you put well, it. Well, they wouldn't see it. Because you put it. You put it in a little oh, no. cup. Yeah, you put, put it in a little twenty ounce tumbler and just. Yeah. There you go. Oh, see, there you go. Fireball and hot chocolate. Mm. Delicious. Mm. And anyway, we, I, I went down to get some more, and I come back, and I couldn't find my seat. That <laughs> was uh, a little to see the field. Yeah. Uh, and I remember I couldn't. Uh, Travis drove my truck, and all I did was kept rolling down the windows because we were dropping off backyard Brian and his <laughs> brother. They were in downtown Kansas City area, and I kept driving by all the hookers, and you're like, hey. <laughs> I had my window rolled Imagine down. That. He tried to lock the door, and it was just, yeah, it was not a, it was not a good, I think I drank. I, now, I didn't get as messed up as the person that didn't make it to the game. Oh, yeah, mom. Yeah. yeah. She, well, she, she sacked. She was in bed at, at noon. Yeah, she, she, she sacked out after lunch, yeah, so it was. It was a, it was a good trip. So that was, but that's tailgating. That's what you do. Yes, you do. It, it. Tailgating in itself is an event above and beyond the event. You know, the event is almost an aftermath of the reason you're there. Yes, don't you agree? Well, well, and the, the fact of the matter is, is that you can tailgate. People have been tail, tailgate after the game too. Like it's oh yeah, like like uh, you can go like they tailgate before the game. They can tailgate like up to after eight or twelve hours before the game. I've never tailgated ever. And then yeah, never. and then go to the game and then come back and then. Break out the grills again and start cooking yeah, up. And I've seen people yeah. tailgating I've again. I've met some uh, cheese players in the past, like Derek Thomas and those guys, after the game. You know, because if you're tailgating long enough, uh, you usually have some PR guy from the Chiefs will come up and say, hey, there's some of the players that want to come out and meet you guys and tailgate. But Especially if you have, like, a bomb-ass tailgate. Like, you're yeah. serving, like, the best food. And, and people are just and, like, and the players will come out after the game and tailgate with you. The only rule is, is you can't ask for autographs and you can't take pictures. That was the only deal that they didn't want. They wanted to be part of the group, but that's it. And uh, so, yeah, we've had some. Which would be cool. Would, yeah. It would be, be very cool to do. So, yeah, maybe but, someday I'll get to. Yeah, one of those days. One of those days. Well, especially with well, the way COVID happened, it just. I, th- I think it almost kind of ruined the stadium experience, well, and, to be honest. And that's why I think it's a good idea that we should tailgate either at home or here at this bar. That's true. To watch the games. Yeah. It's all about tailgating. We need to tailgate. We need to tailgate someone. So that's right. Yeah. <laughs> we have a taker. We, we have, have a taker. <laughs> say yes, yes. Well, I was going to say uh, another one you you had. Well, you mentioned KU. You did tailgate at KU uh, at a KU game once, right? <laughs> oh, those young college kids! They got so much to learn. Pa- paid paid <laughs> paid somebody to park in their driveway or something like that. Well, no, or, in their yard or in their yard. <laughs> yeah, it was it was their sur- uh, uh, fraternity. It was their fraternity. They were making twenty dollars a car to park there. Oh. Which, hey, by the way, a great way to make money if you're in college. Yeah. yeah. 
And, and so you, park, and you have a yeah, place near they, the stadium. They, they parked our vehicle for us, and then they helped us out with our equipment. And then they realized we were going to the Chiefs game the next day because we ended up tailgating at the KU game and then moving on and tailgating at the K and State. And they were like, do you got any extra tickets? And I said, yeah. And they were like, cool, can we go? And I said, no. You're not pretty enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Here's your $20 bill. Thanks for watching over our car. Yeah. That was in 2008, back when KU was good. <laughs> back when the Chiefs sucked. <laughs> It was, now, know, ladies and gentlemen, there was a point in time where the Chiefs actually sucked. Yeah. And in 2008 was by far one of their worst years ever. Yeah. So, But, you know, I remember growing up, Dad would take us, and we could drive up, get games to a KU game, and, and, and tailgate. Tickets to a KU game. Right. And then we could drive up on Sunday morning and actually get tickets at, Will, at the ticket office for the Chiefs game because they were so bad. You know, this was in the 70s and 80s, and we couldn't, so. Yeah. When the Chiefs actually were terrible. But my dad taught me, you always go to a game. Whenever there's a chance, you always go to a game. And you always tailgate, and you always party as hard as you work. Work hard, but party just as hard, hard as you as work. You, right. Yep. Yep. My dad taught me, you party as hard as you work. Because so. it, it, when you work hard, you got to work it off. Yeah. Party it off. That sent him. That sent him to heaven early. But <laughs> <laughs> oh well. That's rest in peace, Grandpa. At forty-two. No, I'm just kidding. He, he lived much longer than that. But no, uh, I never got to meet him. Uh, <laughs> of course, I did. He he lived. Yeah, uh, I try. In fact, his last year, I tried to get him to a game before. Oh yeah. We, but he he was hurting too bad. He, he was just moving. Make, he couldn't yeah. even walk. Couldn't so. even move. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Uh, I think it was my junior, senior year in high school. Junior yeah. year. Okay. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah. Tailgating is fun. So. That and also. Uh, cookouts. Well, yeah, cookouts. Just so having, having a good cookout. In two cookout. weeks, so, well, the yeah. podcast will be live. From the patio. From the patio. Join where us. We're going to do your 29th birthday. Yeah. Join us on Facebook Live for that one. Uh, raw and uncut number 11. Yeah. Episode number 11. Like I said, it is a private event, so those only invited get to come. So, uh, which yep. includes some of our, which include Colin and Brenda. Brian, Brian was invited, but he said no. Yeah. So he said, what fuck the heck? you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's his, his, his daughter's graduate. That's cool. That's, what? That's cool. Oh, that doesn't matter. The, the I'm sorry. His daughter's graduating, which is cool. I mean, go for it. Uh, uh, Colin and Brenda will be there. They, they've already they've already laid out there. I th- uh, I think no, Michelle yeah, will not will be not there. be there. Yeah, she said. I think she's, she's coming got a in softball tournament for uh, Macy. Her do- Macy. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. So obviously, and I'm like, wait a minute, it's your kid's softball tournament. It's not yours. It's not you know, yours. They're, they're, you're going to give up drinking and partying with us. Because I believe we're going to try some karaoke afterwards. Probably. Yeah. But, and also, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, we need to get Colin drunk enough to sing for sure. I, I want to hear you sing in Baroque English. Baroque English. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, green, you know yeah what? Well, of course, yeah, we're going to have green tractor oh, for sure. I've got a gallon of it already made. Yeah, he, uh, yeah he's going to. I've got a gallon of green tractor already made. Yeah, he's ready for you, partner. It's good to go. That's right. Well, speaking of, speaking of softball, some of the have you seen some of the adult softball like tournaments and play, people tailgate there? Like this yeah. is like rec league softball. We tried adult tailgating softball tournaments. at the Garden City Wind Games, and they were like, "What the heck? What the fuck are you doing?" Yeah, yeah. I'm like, by the way, it's going to be one massive tailgate opening day, which you know we they get food trucks and stuff there down there. So yeah, it's it's going to be pretty massive. By the way, June second, uh, the gates open at what five five thirty five. Uh, probably at five. I don't know, but yeah. anyways, yeah. We'll be doing uh, riding the pine live from. Uh, uh, don't plug the show. Don't plug. Well, that you don't show. want me to plug the no. show. Ride the pine. <laughs> don't don't plug it. Live doesn't deserve plugging. K I U L. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But yeah, uh, yeah. If you want to come out for Garden City Wind Baseball, it's uh, it's six dollars a ticket. You know, six dollars to get in, and you get. Some food from the food. Or if no. you talk to me real nice and give me a kiss on the cheek, I can get you free tickets. There you go. <laughs> so, Clint, Clint Leitner Field here in on Garden how City. how well you kiss on this cheek that do you get tickets. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. But uh, I was going to say, another, another, yeah, adult, uh, just 
rec league adult softball tournaments, people tailgate there too. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, I agree. It's, it's ridiculous. Well, it's, it's it's all about my dad and I getting well, drunk and yeah, playing I, softball. I went to the national championships in softball in uh, 1974 into Cocoa Beach, Florida, and it was all about setting on a tailgate, drinking prior to yeah, prior to, and it didn't matter whether it was the national championship or not. But yeah. Mm. Like I said, it's just typical rec league softball tournament. Oh, by be. the way, uh, our Kansas State championship team, we only placed fourth in the nation. But Hey, fourth in the nation is pretty ridiculous yeah. still. I mean, we had fun. We got kicked out of several hotels in Cocoa Beach, Florida. Uh, no shit. Drinking was involved. Of course. <laughs> Never. No. Um, I don't believe that. No. I was, I was pretty young. However... It, it didn't, didn't matter. It didn't matter. <laughs> it didn't fucking matter. I was a pitcher on the team. And you didn't play at all? I, no. Yeah. <laughs> I did not play at all. He, he did, got to travel with the did, team, but he didn't play. No. <laughs> so That's funny. But it was, it was, it was a ball. Uh, me and Timmy Fuller. Yeah. yeah. Timmy was with us. Tim was on the team. He didn't play either. <laughs> he didn't play either. But we had a ball. So. That's so, fun. Shall we get to our top ten of tailgate foods, or our cookout? top ten? Yeah, our top ten cookout foods uh, that you, that we like. We comprise this list. Of course, it's not like a template of some sort, but just our opinion. Yeah, so. ours is gospel. Ours Those is college definitely. kids, isn't? It? Yeah, college, <laughs> college kids. Right. Mozzarella sticks. What the fuck are you doing? You know, yeah. Yeah. there is nobody that needs nobody's to taking mozzarella sticks at a tailgate. Nobody's taking nobody, mozzarella sticks. Well, nobody has a deep frat fryer. I mean, it, no college kids got deep fat fryer. No, no, of course not. No, some college kids need to be put in a deep fat fryer, but <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Yeah, but I can say that because I'm old and senile, senile yeah, <laughs> and brainless. But yeah, yeah, awesome. But that's not it's not it's not brainless because he's stupid, but it's brainless because he's getting old. So huh. yeah. <laughs> all timers, I am. Um, yeah. Anyways, let's 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 just dive in right now. Okay. Number ten. So my number ten best cookout food dish, steak. If you want to get, mm. if you want to really, if you want to really up your game, I guess it's not like the, what well, kind the of best. Steak? Just ribeyes or sirloins. strips or sirloins. Yeah. Oh, okay. Steak is is uh, if steak. if you if you have the money to purchase, you know, steaks and don't want to be a cheapo. But well, right now fun. it's a lot less expensive than gasoline and lumber, and nine millimeter <laughs> ammo, or yeah. just ammo in general. <laughs> yeah, steak is so steak. Uh, yeah, your number ten snipes. Pulled pork, of course. Yeah, gotta have it. Yeah, pulled pork. Well, and let's let's settle the debate right now. Okay, what differs between a cookout and a barbecue? Well, barbecue is slow. On low heat and takes twenty four to forty eight hours. Well, and not only that, Bar- but I mean, a, a cookout is something you would throw on the grill and it's done in fifteen twenty minutes. Well, I mean, not only that, but I'm saying like people would tip, would typically go like, "Oh, I'm going to a barbecue," and they have like burgers and hot dogs on. Yeah, that that's is not, not a, a barbecue. that's not a barbecue. Barbecue actually has barbecue food, right. like pulled pork. pork. Yeah, there you so, go. So there you go. Okay, can not quit, girl? I didn't have a you list. Didn't t- you didn't pri- we, we, to- we told you. Wait, we told wait you. your friend said that you got a list? Well. Throw your friend's list up there. I'll throw my friend's list. Right. They did put and mac don't and cheese. Get, huh? They did put mac and cheese. Okay. Mac and so cheese. So is that number 10? So we're going to go with number 10 with mac, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is number okay. 10? Okay. Well, I, like I said. That's a side. Uh, that's, if you want to put that as a side, yeah. yeah. It's not my first choice as a side, but... Uh, that wouldn't be my first choice. <laughs> yeah. That's an entree. She says that's an entree. 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 Maybe if you throw, if you throw bacon in it, yeah. <laughs> bacon with mac and cheese, perfect, yeah. All right. Absolutely. Sounds like plan. Number nine. My number nine is, well, kind of a, kind of a next to pulled pork, pork loin. Oh yeah, just pork, pork loin. loin. That's amazing. Good. Yeah, slow cooked pork loin, which by the way is the only way you should ever have it. You should never grill it or bake it or whatever. It just smoke it, smoke it, slow smoke it. Smoke Twelve it hours, like a big fatty cigar. Mm. Mm. Delicious pork loin. <coughs> I was gonna say I had uh, pork loin 
uh, my buddy Chris made it. He he listened to the podcast. Shout out to Chris. He excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. Good lord, oh, too I much a, smoke for smoking it. COVID. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, he actually smoked a couple of pork loins uh, when I went over to kind of his quote unquote housewarming party, and it, it was really great. You, and I'll never have pork loin any other way, any other way than smoked. So number nine for you. Number nine, chips and salsa. Got to have it. It's delicious. Right. Chips and salsa. Chips and salsa. There you go. What about your number nine over here? My number nine would probably be pork and beans. Pork okay. and beans. Okay. Not just baked beans, but pork okay. and beans. Well, okay, ba- so... Me, I'd like baked beans. They said pork and beans. Kind of, kind, of a, like kind of a barbecue type food. That's, yeah. that's, yeah. A, that's okay. I agree. Yeah. Good, good side food dish for that. So. All right. I, I agree with that. Number eight. Number eight for me, a simple dessert that you can what? make. A simple dessert just that a, you can make. Like Cookies. What? Cookies. Oh. Cookies. Yeah, just a simple dessert you can simple. make. And it's, a, it's great for cookouts. You know, if, if you don't want to make... alcohol is our dessert. No, but oh. alcohol helps, you know, get all that food down. Um, but, you know, if you don't want to spend time on a dessert, cookies. Delicious. Okay, cookies. All right. Number eight for you. Burnt ends. Good old Kansas City type thing. Burn ends. Burn ends. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Delicious. <laughs> Number eight on your end over there. Oh, I'd have to go with the veggies because I love veggies. They're easy to bring. Oh well, well everybody yeah. brings veggie a veggie tray. tray. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I obviously. Know, I just, I'm a veggie person. <laughs> obviously, it's yes. it's it's one of the top. I love veggies. It's, really. It's one of the top dishes to be bringing to a cookout or tailgate. Yeah, and guess we always, what? We always laugh and talk about the person that brings the veggies. The veg, yeah. Well, I was That's gonna say. Okay. I was gonna say the. Uh, right. It's one of the top things brought More to a me, cookout or. T- like it. Yeah. <laughs> it's Call, one of the top. Is cauliflower on that? Yes. Oh, gross! Cauliflower. It's one of the top cookout things to like bring like to a cookout, and it is cheese. also, <laughs> and it's also, and it's also. <laughs> The least eaten thing at a cookout or tailgate. <laughs> I know. That's why it's all more for me. Yeah. Uh, so okay. thank you for your terrible veggie tray. You're very <laughs> welcome. Appreciate it. Number seven. Number seven for me. I took a page out of the out of the college kids playbook. Beer. Beer. Gotta have beer. Beer. Uh, it's, it's not really not a cookout. A food, food. It's not a food dish. But unless it's liquid bread. But well, <laughs> beer is liquid bread, so. So yeah, you got to have beer okay. at at a cookout. All right, number seven. Uh, I got chili. Okay, yeah, yeah. Another. You never know when it's a cold game and you want some. Need some chili. And I and I I make my uh, what you have coined CC chili. CC chili, yeah. mm-hmm. which is colon cleanse. You know, clean that colon right out. Nice. Know where the bathroom or porta potty is because you are going to de- destroy it. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's why. That's why they put all those nice little porta potties at, at parking lots. At, yes, at Arrowhead, at uh, Arrowhead, and Kaufman Stadium. Yeah, yeah. Because there might be a couple that might be getting blown up. <sighs> Boom! It's a real crappy day for the septic people. <laughs> <laughs> Have to deal with that. Anyways, number seven on your end there. Uh, jalapeno poppers. Oh, delicious. That's, a, that's good. Yeah. Spend some time on that side dish, but hey, mm-hmm. that's not bad. Are, are you talking about the breaded ones or just the jalapeno with all the red cheese in it? And you're the just cheese, eating the bacon, all that. Oh, stuff. the bacon wrapped ones? Yes. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, yes. Even better. Even better. Even better. <laughs> the best kind. Yeah, you're not missing out on this party coming up. <laughs> you are you, definitely you, you missing out. Bring that veggie tray. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta bring the veggie tray. You got to bring the veggie tray. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> I guarantee you, it's not going to get eaten. So yeah, yeah that's right. That's okay. More uh, whoever, whoever, gotcha. whoever's going to whoever's going to whoever's going to bring the veggie tray might need and love veggies. So <laughs> simple as that. Mm. Number six. Number six for me. You're, well, I, I laugh about it not being my first choice, but it's on my list: mac and cheese. <coughs> Delicious. Yeah, she counts as an entree only if you add bacon or some kind of a meat to it. Yes. Yeah, bacon. You said bacon. 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 Chicken's good. also good with it, too. Chicken, mac and cheese. So. Well, you want the chickens killed. You don't want like well, these feathered no, things. Yeah, not like, not like actual, like, yeah. yeah. Then you have to wonder what that white spot is on that mac and cheese. Well, yeah, it's, 
Is it cheese or is it okay. feathery? Uh, <laughs> it's blue cheese. Byproduct. It's blue cheese cookery. <laughs> Uh, Leo has uh, come on in. And the man, the myth, the legend. Yeah. Awesome. You ride your bike in? No, no, no bike. Oh, he's got oh, a bike. Yeah, oh, okay. Passenger. There you well, go. Okay. No, very good. <laughs> number six on yours. Oh, number six on mine is hot dogs. Oh. It's low on my list because hot dogs. Why? Just, yeah. Yeah. I didn't even want to put it on the list, but you know it shows up at every tailgate or every... Somebody shows up with wieners. (laughs) And I'm not talking about the people at the tailgate. Yeah, those people can be wieners, too. Um, (laughs) Number six on yours. I would have to say pickle wraps. Pickle Pickle wraps? wraps. That's... Are you talking about, like, wraps? Ham, cream cheese, pickles. Oh, so, the, like, the pickle isn't wrapped. Yes, the pickle is wrapped. Oh, the pickle is wrapped. Is it, yeah, is it like a whole pickle? Yeah. Oh. Okay. It's kind of like a pickle in a condom. I was going to say, it's kind of like a... It's kind of like a... I was going to say, it's a jalapeno popper, except, you know, with a pickle and pickle a lot condom. more meat. Yeah. yeah, there you go. <laughs> I, I, I would have never guessed. That's that's something... Yeah. Right here. Never not. Number five. Number five on my list was buffalo wings. Gotta have wings, uh-huh. I, th- I think. To wings. If, if you spend time for, if you spend time to actually cook wings, and you know, I think that, that's good. Good tailgate food. Good cookout food. Okay. Yours. Uh, I followed suit with you, and that's uh, ribeye steak. Ribeye steak. There you rib go. Eye. A ribeye steak cookout. Yeah. Delicious. Delicious. I like it. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, yours. Mine was chips and salsa. Ah, chips and salsa. So she, yeah. mm-hmm. Cross suit. It's the MVP of all side dishes. It is. <laughs> and appetizers and stuff, and stuff like that. Or it could be in some main course. Who knows? You know. No, the main course is the alcohol. We all know. That. <laughs> yes. Duh. Of course it is. Number four. Number four uh, for me was chips and dip. No. Oh. So, yeah. Chips so and like chips and it, salsa. it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be salsa. It could be cheese dip. It could be French onion dip. It could be well, if it's cheese dip, spinach artichoke dip. You know, and and you have chips. Wouldn't it be nacos? If you have cheese and yeah, jalapenos, yeah. Mm. Might be. sour cream, all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It could be nachos, but yeah. That okay, would, that would that would be that would probably classify as it. Uh, chips and dip. So number four, your snipes. Oh. Ribs. Got to have it. Big, Aww. fat, meaty ribs. Delicious. Yeah. That was mine, too. Well, <laughs> that was your number four? Yes. Awesome. Dang. Ribs. By the way, you go to Kansas City, you're going to find you're going to find somebody tailgating ribs. Yeah. At least. At, we, at we've least done a, that before. We've actually brought Plank's ribs. And then Arrowhead. slow cooked them on the yes. way there. Yeah. Yeah. It's been awesome. And nice. like while well, everybody's lighting up their grill, we're already eating at eight AM, you know, with our pork. Yeah, in fact that one that those two those two guys, they had enough money to get tickets to the game and that was it. And I was like, We had all these ribs. I think we had three racks of ribs. At and least. I was like, Hey guys, you want some ribs? And they're like, Ribs? 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 You got ribs? <laughs> so yeah. They sh- delicious. Yeah. We fed a bunch of people that day. Yeah, we did. Fun. Yeah. Number three. Uh, number three, ribs. Oh, he fall, G- fell into the rib. God, I love it. I love ribs so much. And I, I actually like ribs that are dry rubbed. Yes. Yeah. Brian knows how to rub my ribs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay. Any. Uh, number three on yours. Uh, Nakos. Okay, yeah. Nachos, yeah. By the way, that's on the menu for next week. Nachos. So, or not next week, the week after. Two weeks, yeah. Yeah. So, nachos and hot dogs and... Uh, we may be going with something that's different than a hot dog that day. Or brats. <gasps> wow. That was my name. That was yours? That was, that was your number three? Yes. That was your number three? Really? Yes, I love brats. Really? Yes. Three? 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 Brats three. Are three? What is wrong with you, girl? I know, right? Three? I'm weird. What can I say? <laughs> she also brings a veggie tray. Veggie so. tray. Yeah, that explains See? it. That explains a lot. See? 
Uh, yeah, well, because, yeah, well, and number two. Number two. My number two, burgers and dogs are tied for that area, the burgers oh, and dogs. You yeah. add the dogs with the burgers? Yeah, because you, can, you yeah. can do both of them, That's... and they're both really good. So, meaty dogs, basically. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah, no burgers and dogs tied for number two on my list. Yours? Okay, mine was just burgers. Just burgers? I okay. didn't add the burgers and dogs. I just no. bur- the burgers. Yeah, yeah, mine was burgers too. Boogers. Boogers. <laughs> Sorry. Cheesy okay. boogers. Well, right. I, I was going to say, we might share number one. Yes, we probably number do. One. Number one, brats. Yeah, brats. That's what I got. Number oh. one, brats. A good old brat. The best cookout food. Well, it goes with beer. Of all time. Yes, and beer. You too. cannot have a brat with not drinking a beer. It's just, it's wrong. Yeah, exactly. So, so yeah. Yours, what was your number one then? Brisket. Oh, brisket, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I can go. It's not a brat, but it'll do. It's not a brat. <laughs> you can make she it did have a brat. brat, what, number two? Three. She had brats at number three, yeah. Oh. Wait, what was your number two? Burgers? Yeah, burgers. Okay, burgers. Is burgers. Burgers. Yeah. So there you go. All How right. about that? So, so, che- so check out the, be- the top ten list. Uh, as uh, Top ten food you can have at a cookout because it's... R- they're, put down have- on our Facebook page what you yeah, there you go. have at your tailgate. And no. don't put tofu. And don't. no veggie tray. And, and no, no veggie, veggie tray. <laughs> Because coming for the person who actually will bring a veggie tree, veggie I tree to this. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Anyways, that's going to do it for episode number 31 of Uncaged. Join us next week. Uh, Tessa Jane will be back, like we said, uh, with her little PSA. And then, of course, the week after my birthday, episode number 11 of Ron Uncut. We'll see you then. Bye. Thanks for listening to Uncaged. Tune in next week for more. This has been brought to you by Loving's Moon, Tim and Jerry's Auto Sales, Garden Bowl, American Gratitude, Patrick Dugan's Coffee House, and Triple A Loans and U-Haul.